Hello everyone, I'm Alicia. Welcome to my Beautiful Nights channel. So for a very long time, I've been wanting one of those fancy beading boards. And because of how I designed my jewelry, I knew that I would have to get the very big one, which is the most expensive one, and it's like 120 bucks, which is kind of crazy, but I do realize that a lot of time and work goes into making those, and they're made with really good quality fabrics. And so I decided I'm going to try and make my own beading board and see how it goes. And if it doesn't go well, I'm probably just going to end up buying one. So I've actually been collecting materials to make this over the past year. And one of the things that was holding me back from making it was the fabric that I have to put on the back of the board. I actually thought about not covering the back of the board. And finally, I just decided that I'm going to use this here, which is actually a uh, dusting rag because this is going to be on the sides of my board. So everything I'm using to make this is pretty much recycled from something else. There's only one thing here that I bought for this project and that's this here. And I'm gonna go over everything with you guys and tell you um, what I'm using, but I thought maybe I should film this because maybe I would inspire you to make your own beading board with similar materials. It, chances are you're not gonna have the same thing I'm using but maybe I'll inspire you to make your own using something similar to what I'm using or maybe I'll make this and there will be something about it I don't like and I could tell you guys about it and then you could do it differently I don't know I just thought I would film uh, me doing this now here's the thing I don't have a tripod anymore it broke a long time ago and I never got a new one because I actually rarely ever used it because the tripod I used to film my videos is attached to the wall at my desk so I'm thinking I'm gonna have to film this um, on my bed and I'm not going to be able to show me doing everything. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to tell you what I'm going to do it. I'm going to turn the camera off, do it, and then come back and show you how I did it and tell you how it went, uh, the parts of this video. So uh, keep watching and we'll see how this goes. Okay, now I'm going to go over the materials with you guys and tell you about everything I'm using. So, per like I said, everything here is pretty much recycled from something else. Only thing I bought for this project is this here and this stuff I already had. So, the whole thing that got me going on this project is this foam piece here. And I'm not going to lie to you, I got this out of the trash. And no, it was not my neighbor's trash or anybody else's trash. It was my own trash. Somebody in my household threw it away. And I saw it, I'm like, oh my god. I can use that for a beadboard. So I took it out of the trash and luckily it was on the top of the trash and it's very clean. Uh, it's just collecting a little bit of fuzz here and there. So anyways, this is about half an inch thick. It's foam and the top is covered in black velvet, which is awesome because as I've told you guys, some beads like to stain fabrics, Picasso beads, and that's one of my favorite beads to use. So I thought this would be perfect for a beadboard. So I did not cut this. This is the exact size as when I found it. And I'm thinking that it's probably from some kind of packaging, maybe like a perfume box or something. And Anyways, uh, this foam pad was my whole inspiration for this. Now, if you can't find something like this, I was thinking when I went to the Dollar Tree and I got this steering wheel cover, that's what this is, a steering wheel cover from the Dollar Tree, I saw beside that these um, microfiber cloth things, and I thought that that would also be a really good um, surface to bead on, but you will want something underneath, some kind of padding. So again, I was also thinking... Uh, maybe you could get foam from something else. I don't know. I'm into recycling stuff and making something else out of it because I've always thought that was an awesome thing to do. But um, maybe you guys can find something to replace my foam pad here. So as I said, this is a steering wheel cover from the Dollar Tree. It comes in a bunch of different colors. That's the one I liked the most. And um, this board here is quarter inch plywood. This is also recycled from something else. It was packaging that was in around a 200-gallon uh, aquarium. For some reason, they boarded it, so I saved the plywood from that. And um, this is a dusting cloth, which I was going to use just another piece of fabric. And I have scissors here. These are serrated, so they cut through a lot of incredible things, like this insulation here. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to need the tacky glue for this project or the spray adhesive, because I'm thinking I'm going to have to use a spray adhesive to spray my board, and then I'm going to put my fabric on the board, but we'll see how that goes. So I have um, this here. My mom, she gets um, medicine that comes in the mail in a cooler, and they've always sent it in a foam, styrofoam cooler, but lately they've been sending it 
in this weird insulation stuff here. Now, it did have plastic on it. It's really thick. It's like an inch and a half. But um, it said on the bag that this can be reused for all kinds of things, like even a dog bed. So I had the idea to use this to stuff the edges of my beadboard. So this was all one piece, and I cut it in half. And then I wrapped this around my board, and I realized it was too much. So then I cut it in half again. And I just took a permanent marker, and I drew a line down the middle, and I cut it with my scissors. And, oh my gosh, these scissors are incredible. They're serrated. I could not have cut this with a regular pair of scissors. I was only able to cut it with these here. So what I think I'm going to do first is I'm going to take this board and I'm going to go outside and spray it with the spray adhesive. And then I'm going to stretch my fabric out and stick it to the board. This is going to be the back of the board. All right, I'm back. I sprayed the glue onto my board and I stuck my fabric down, but I have to tell you, I'm not crazy about the spray glue. It's not working all that great. It is kind of lifting on the edges. So I think I'm going to tuck the fabric on the back side and staple it to the board so it sticks better. I'm not really worried about the back of the board because it's going to be touching the table. and I'm never going to be flipping my board over because it's going to be covered in beads in the top. So I'm not really worried about the back of the board. I just wanted to cover it with fabric. I didn't want wood exposed. So anyways, um, I'm not crazy about the spray adhesive, but I'm going to tell you guys what you should do because I've done this before and I was going to do it this time, but I wanted this to be a quick project because I'm filming this and it takes a while to dry. So this is what you should do. Um, before in the past, I made a necklace display, also earring display, it's two in one, and I use it a lot when I take pictures of my jewelry. So what I did to make the necklace display is I took a piece of cardboard and I had this fabric that was kind of like suede, but it wasn't real suede. It was fake, but it was a uh, beige color. It was kind of uh, fuzzy like suede. Anyways, I took tacky glue and I added a little bit of water to it and I took a paintbrush and I painted the glue onto the cardboard and I painted on thick I wanted to see the thick white color like it was actual white paint so I painted the whole board and I had to do it quickly because glue dries fast and then I stuck on my fabric and oh my gosh that turned out so good and I use that board a lot. So if you're going to do something like this, don't use a spray glue because that stuff is crap. What I think I'm going to do now, because I'm not that happy with the spray glue, is it really lifting up that bad? Mm, no, it's not that bad. I think what I'm going to do is just fold my sides over like this and staple them down, you know, like you're upholstering a chair cushion. And then I'll fold this side over and staple it down. Oh, and by the way, here's my dog, Felipe. He's been in one of my videos before. <laughs> so I'm going to uh, staple this down, and I'm going to cut off the excess fabric because I don't need this much. And then I'll staple it down, and I'll come back. Oh, and I did forget that I'm using this staple gun here. And I'm also thinking that I'm going to need a glue gun, which I have to go get that. I don't have that out. But those are two things that you also might need for this project. I went ahead and I cut my fabric, as you could see, and I folded a side over and another side, and then I stapled it. And then I'm like, I should look at the back side of the board to see if the staple's going through, because this is quarter-inch plywood. And sure enough, it's going through my board, as you could see. Now, I am thinking that this will be covered by my steering wheel cover, but it's probably going to be like scratching at my desk, and I don't want that uh, happening. So I'm going to pull the staple out, and I'm just going to hot glue this, which I really didn't want to use a lot of glue for this project because I am not a glue person. I actually use a drill and screwdrivers and power tools all the time, believe it or not, and I would much rather put things together like that than use glue. But I'm going to have to use hot glue, so I'm going to do that and I'll be back. I just wanted to point out that if you do have like half inch plywood, you could totally staple it and you would not have problems with it going through your board. I finished gluing it, and by the way, it did go really well with the hot glue, but I did burn two fingers. So now what I'm going to do is glue my pad onto my board, and then I think I'm going to attach my steering wheel cover. So I'm going to go ahead and hot glue this, and I'll be back. I glued it on, and it went really good. Now I'm going to put the cover on. I'm just going to sit it on the sides and uh, see what it looks like. 
All right, so I put the steering wheel cover ring on, and there is a seam in this, and I put the seam right here in the corner. I was going to put it, like, on the side, but I thought the corner would be best. It seems like it's more hidden on the corner. So this is what the front looks like. It's not stuffed yet, and it's loose, but um, I wanted to show you the back. I'm really happy with how the back's looking because I put this together without any glue just to kind of get an idea of what it would look like, and this was kind of a pain. It was moving so much, but because I have fabric on the back of this board, which I didn't before, and because I have the pad glued in place, this is actually staying really nice for me. So when I first started doing this, I thought that I would staple this on, which is not going to look pretty, but like I said, it's on the back side. But now that I have this on and I've been working with the glue gun, I think I'm going to hot glue this on. So as you can see, I have this here just barely on the edge of my board, okay, because I'm going to have padding in the top side. So I think I'm going to go ahead and hot glue all of my sides here. And then I'll come back and try and stuff the top. There is a junk on here because I was just trying to stuff it. But because I haven't glued the back, it's not wanting to work. This here just lifts up like that. So I'm going to go ahead and glue all around the edges here and come back. And hopefully my project idea is going to work. So uh, we're going to see what happens. It's all trial and error with you guys. And even if this doesn't turn out, I'm probably still going to post this video. I finished gluing it and it went pretty well. And I have to say that it actually started out really nicely. And I didn't get any glue here on the fabric. And then I did the other side and then I started getting glue all over the fabric, which kind of made me a little frustrated but this is the back side of the board and I am thinking that maybe in the future I'll keep an eye out for another piece of fabric preferably a black piece that I can attach to the back maybe felt I don't know I don't know if I can get a piece that big but uh, I'll try to find something to cover the back better which I think that the expensive ones actually has another piece that's overlapping the side here so now what I have to do is to um, stuff my outside walls here and then glue it down or maybe sew it down. I'm actually afraid to glue it down because I'm thinking I'm going to get glue on my pad and if I do that it's probably going to ruin my whole board but I'm going to go ahead and stuff it and see where to go from there so I'll be back. I'm done stuffing my board. I use this stuff here and I was thinking before I found this I was going to use an old towel I was going to um, roll the towel up, wrap it around the side, see how long it needed to be, and then cut it. And then I was going to stuff this with a rolled up towel. But now I'm using this. But if you can't find something like I'm using to stuff this with, you could totally use an old towel. So I, as you could see, have a lot of fuzz all over here. This is from the stuff falling apart. I'm just going to clean it up with a lint roller when I'm done. And I'm thinking... What I'm going to do is probably glue the corners first, each corner, make sure that they're tacked down. And I'm going to take my time because I'm really worried I'm going to get glue on here. And actually I'm thinking this fuzzy stuff is probably going to prevent the glue from sticking to the mat so much. So I don't think I'm going to clean this up. I think I'm going to leave it fuzzy in case I drop glue. But maybe what I should do is just put a piece of paper down right here while I'm gluing. So if I drop any glue in the paper, it's not going to get in my mat. So I'm going to take my time and hope this goes well. By the way, this is the very last step for my beadboard and I'm all done. So I hope, I hope I don't get any glue on this because this is something I've been wanting to make for a long time and I'm really worried that I'm going to get glue all over my mat. Man, it'll totally ruin my project if I do. So let's see what happens. Here it is, my finished beadboard, and as hard as I tried, I still got glue on the pad. If you look, I have a big ooze right here, and I tried so hard. I'm telling you, I, I probably spent over an hour just going slow, taking my time, trying not to get glue on it, but I did. And because it's black, it does stick out more. If this mat was a different color, it probably wouldn't even be that noticeable. And I think that I actually started gluing it right here. And if you look, maybe it's because I'm a perfectionist. That 
the things that I make. Uh, if you look over here, it's really thin. And as I went on gluing it, it got wider where I had more fabric coming over the edge because the glue was seeping. So, uh, yeah, I am wondering if I glued this side down first because I, I glued this down first. Remember, I glued the back first. Maybe if I glued this down first on this side and then flipped it over and stuffed it from the back and then glued the back shut, maybe that would have been better. But then I thought, well, right now looking at this, this is really flat. There is like no padding back here, which is how it's supposed to be. And then the top is not like that. It's very cushy and raised on the sides, which is how it's supposed to be. So I don't know. I tried my best and this is what I got. I'm probably going to end up just buying one of these. But one thing's for sure, my cat is going to love this. He's going to think this is a cat bed. So if I do end up buying a nice one, then I can just give this one to my cat. I hope you enjoyed this video. Hopefully it helped you or inspired you in some way to make your own beading board or cat bed. And uh, yeah, this is my very sad attempt at making my own. And you know what would make me happy? If you liked this video, gave it a thumbs up, left me a comment, subscribed so you could see more of my videos, make sure you click the bell button so you get notified when I upload new videos, and like me on Facebook. And don't forget to share pictures of the jewelry you've made from my videos on my Facebook page and follow me on Pinterest. And you can also follow me on Instagram and tag me in the pictures of the jewelry you've made or your beading boards or cat beds that you've made. And yeah, thanks for watching. Bye.